This time on the show, we're getting Hulu and BBC iPlayer everywhere with a little VPN action to bypass GeoIP filters. We'll be setting up Network Manager in Backtrack 5, plus Linux inside of Windows, graph trace routes in terminals, and a whole lot more, this time on Hack 5. This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist Express. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. And I'm Shannon Morse. This is, of course, your weekly dose of Technolust. And it's amazing. It's educational. And it's fun learning. It's trying to be entertaining. <laughs> That's true. And we want to thank you guys for watching it. Thanks. If you, because a lot of people get this. And I'm so glad that you guys get what we're trying to do here. Sometimes I don't get it. Really? My mom doesn't get it either. Oh, that's okay. We're not making the show for your mom, but you know, we're making the show for ourselves, and I think you, we get so much great feedback. I love you guys are along for the ride. We don't only get feedback, uh -huh. but we also had a fan send us a book. I don't know when we get stuff sent into the mailbox. I probably shouldn't bite this. I don't know where it's been. 48 Market Street, number 39371, San Francisco, California, yes. 9404. It's called Using Procom Plus. So here you go, from? Darren. I think you'll, you. uh, I think you'll Dude. enjoy that very yes. much. I used to use Bananacom. Banana cum? Yeah. Okay, so this is from Brian. He says, Dear Darren, I work for a major publishing company. Every month we get free books, and I saw this one sitting right on top. With your recent segment on telephones, I thought this book might be of interest. Maybe you can do a follow-up on modems, 56K, ISDN, satellite, or cable protocols. I think it can play nicely with Steve Gibson's How the Internet Works. That'd be awesome, dude. Look <laughs> at this 83 key keyboard. It doesn't Where have... Where are the arrows? It does, no, no, no. That's what NumLock's for. Because the oh. number keys are actually used as your arrow keys, and, and you toggle oh them on goodness. and off. When did before, this come out? The was, copyright on this was book that before is, my time? Uh, 1989. Oh, okay. I was yeah. four. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> I was six. I was living in Alaska. There you go. Uh, oh, in snow. Uploading files via ASCII and Kermit. Who didn't love Kermit? C-Link, <laughs> which I'm not familiar with. Is that what they use like on submarines or something? Uh, X modem, Y modem, Z modem. Who couldn't forget that good stuff? Dude, Aww. thank you so much. I love it. When we get our... Shelf of Ikea-ness, it will... <laughs> Ikea-ness? <laughs> yes, <laughs> where we will put all of our awesome goodies because that you guys sent We've been collecting it. We've got like a museum going. It's great. I know, it's so thank cool. You. Thank you so much, Brian. Yes, thank you so much. So, what's in store? Okay, well, a lot of Linux this show. Um, that's right. And I figured, remember how and last Linux. week... Linux and Linux. Oh, Linux. that's right, you're doing and Linux and I'm doing Linux. You're yeah. doing and Linux, I'm doing Linux. You found it? Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, <sorry>. Okay. Um, <laughs> Right, right. This is hack tip. We must stay on track. Oh, wait, no, it's hack five. We don't have to stay on target. We can take <laughs> off our targeting computer and Obi-Wan can, can be all like, ah! okay. oh, never mind. So um, what I was figuring is we got that email last week from the, uh, the German national that's here yes. in the States, and he wants to watch football or foosball or Vialkimmer over in Germany. <laughs> uh, right. But, but the he server... can't because the computer knows that he's over here. Yeah. So no, you figured out how to fix that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we said it right there. Like, dude, you just got an SSH tunnel or VPN tunnel or anything like that. Our friend uh, Jen Cutter uh, has been just, like, she's really excited about this one VPN service. So I'm, I'm trying it out. And today, I figured, let's get it going in Backtrack 5. Oh, so I've nice. So switched over from Ubuntu to Backtrack 5, which, well, Backtrack 5 is based on Ubuntu, but. Right, right, right. Yeah, anyway. Well, you can get it. 10.0.4, so it's got GNOME instead of Unity. Anyway. <laughs> Okay. You I'm can really do your excited. Backtrack 5 thing, get some more caffeine if yes. you need to. I'm Coffee going maker. to play with Ann Linux a little Linux. bit more. Okay. And I'll meet you in the next block. Do you need this? No. Nah. Okay. All right. Now put the question out there on the Google Plus and Twitter and Facebook and everywhere asking, what are your favorite network managers for connecting to uh, VPN servers? And a resounding response across the board for Linux was the aptly named Network Manager. And unfortunately, though, Backtrack 5 does not have Network Manager. It has Wireless Interface Control Daemon, or WICD, which is great because it's, it's a very versatile and specific tool for managing wired and wireless uh, connections in Linux. But uh, I really like, and I've played with Network Connection before, or Network Manager in Ubuntu before, and I like the way that it does VPN. So I figured this time, what we're going to do is show you how to set that up in Backtrack 5. So if you're in Ubuntu, you already have this. But this isn't just a segment on how to run apps get. We're also going to get into some other fun shell stuff, much like we did in the previous week with the Ubertooth stuff. I like whenever we're diving into Linux, like to learn by example, if, if you're new to this completely, or if maybe you just didn't know about a couple of these commands, it's good stuff. So of course, the very first thing, probably the easiest thing, is just running apt get install network manager gnome. 
or gnome or genome or however you want to pronounce it. All right, so we have it installed, and now it's really just a matter of configuring this file in here called uh, in Etsy slash network called interfaces. So if I cat that file right here, we can see that this says auto on LO, LO being our loopback interface, as well as auto on F0, F1, F2, ATH0, WLAN0, all of the possible interfaces that I'm going to have on this machine is set to automatically bring those up and automatically set those for DHCP. And that is not what we want, especially in Backtrack. We don't want to turn this machine, this pen testing machine on, on say somebody's corporate network, where we're trying to be, I don't know, quiet, and then start asking for a DHCP lease. That wouldn't be so good. So what we're going to need to do is, we're going to have to change this file, but I like to back it up, and uh, there's a really easy way to do that, and one command is uh, to just copy it, cp slash etsy slash network slash interfaces, and typically I just do, you know, slash etsy slash network, and everybody's done this, slash interfaces2 or interfaces.backup, you know. There's actually a faster way to do that with uh, curly brackets, though. And it's what's called uh, doing a little bit of, um, of uh, brace expansion is what it's called. It's very similar to how we use the tilde key in Linux as a shortcut to our home folder. We can uh, create these kind of shortcuts with uh, curly braces inside of Linux. So, so we're going to cp this file, and then we're going to put the curly brace, wherever that is on here, and then comma dot backup, and run that. And again, if we ls slash etsy slash network slash inter or, yeah, interfaces star, we can see now that we have two files. I've su successfully backed it up. But how did that work? Well, let's take a look at just using echo how we can use curly braces to append and prepend different strings uh, on a lot of different, it's kind of like an array, if you will. So I'm going to echo, quote, wanna buy a quote, and then we're going to put curly braces for duck, pig, cow, close the curly braces, and then we'll put a question mark at the end there. So if I were to go ahead and just echo this, we can see it says, wanna buy a duck, wanna buy a pig, wanna buy a cow, to which I would ask, does it quack? Does it oink? And does it moo? Anyway, this could go on forever if you know the joke. But that is kind of a practical example there of how you can use uh, brace ex expansions and uh, to just kind of define your what's called your preamble and your postscript. So now, if I cat slash Etsy slash network slash interfaces, again, I can see it is what I had before I backed it up. So now we can actually start rewriting that file. And of course, I could just go ahead and use Vi or GK or uh, uh, Gedit or uh, Emacs if you're really leet. But I like to just do it all in the command line with echo. And I'm going to, the first line of it is going to be auto low. So just like in our previous one, we do actually want our low or our local or our loopback interface to be automatic. And I'm just going to use one waka here, which is Pac Man speak for a greater than sign into slash Etsy slash network slash interfaces, okay? So when I do that, and let's cat that file again, since I've only used one waka, you can see that I've completely replaced all of this with just this. So now there's another line that I want to add here, just like before, I need to do uh, this up here, the iFace low inet loopback. So we'll once again echo iFace low inet loopback. And then this time we're going to go to wakas to slash etsy network interfaces. So if we cat that again, you can see that we have actually added that to the file. And that's what the two wakas are for. That means append it to the end of the file rather than completely overwrite the file. And it's important that you make sure that you're using two when you don't want to use one or else your shell script is going to be quite destructive. You can find that out the hard way too, I'm just saying. All right, so now it's really just a matter of bringing up the service network manager. So for that, just service network manager start. All right, it started with uh, process uh, 5479. So that's how I know I could find it. If I ran top, I could, you know, go chrome through here and find it. Um, and as far as getting the applet is concerned, what we can do is nm tack applet for network manager applet 
And there it goes. It starts up in the upper right. And now, much like Ubuntu does right out of the box, we have the network manager in Backtrack 5. So uh, after I reboot though, this is always going to be there. I can go ahead and take a look at uh, 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 my uh, system startup functions and make sure that it's always going to be there. And I can use that instead of WICD. Hell, I can still go to the command line and do it all from hand if I want to use the WPA supplicant to do Wi-Fi, if I want to use IF config to do my ethernet, whatever it may be. But it's just nice to know that we have those kinds of uh, choices. Now stay tuned because in just a bit, Shannon's going to be demonstrating and Linux. But first, let's take a quick break and check in with Kirby for the Meow of the Week. If you're an IT or software consultant, you're always looking for ways to compete with the big guys. Problem is, you may be like me, a one-man show. What you need is a remote support tool, and the best is go to Assist Express. The faster you can connect to a client, the faster you can move on to the next big challenge. Reduce your travel time and increase revenue by handling multiple support requests at once. Brought to you by Citrix, you know GoToAssist Express is easy and secure. Try GoToAssist Express free for 30 days. For this special offer, you must visit gotoassist.com slash HAK5. 